much would you pay to make your dream of a lifetime come true? The man you're about to meet spent most of his life savings. Here's Steve Hartman's Assignment America. First, let me tell you what this story is not. This story is not about the theater organ 67-year-old Jack Molman built in his basement outside St. Louis, although it certainly would make an interesting one. Instead, this story is about Jack's other passion, which is to play on as many different theater organs as possible. Isn't an organ an organ? No, because they're all different. These are places I've played. Since his first gig in the church choir, Jack has played hundreds of theater organs, almost all the famous ones, except perhaps the most famous of all. It's the biggest one made by Wurlitzer, and that makes it historic, and in a theater that is historic. Radio City Music Hall. Jack has always wanted to play here. I looked in the mirror, and I... Uh... I said, why not? I'm not sure what door you go in. Unfortunately, the only way they'd let him in to play the organ is if he rented out over here the entire theater. I've paid so far <laughs> to the music hall. $118,182. At this point, I was thinking to myself, this guy's a Jack's not rich. A retired Air Force That's colonel and lifelong bachelor, good enough. this one night stand cost him the bulk of his life savings. To try and recoup some, Jack sold $50 tickets. Anybody want a free ticket for Jack Molman? Which at first seemed $50 too much. Sir, you look like you'd like to see Jack Molman tonight for free. I actually was going to pay for it, but sure. Really? Yeah. This guy had read about the concert in a local paper. All right, thanks very much. What's your name? Alex. Alex told me he's not a big fan of organ music. I just admire that he's doing this, so I think he deserves to get some support. By showtime, nearly a thousand people had shown up to support Jack. Not many by Radio City standards, but pretty remarkable for an amateur organist. And they all sat there for nearly three hours of rubber ducky and other assorted favorites. In America, only in America can you achieve your wildest dreams by buying them. And only in America can you make that dream happen and still want more. Now I gotta work on the next one. But you're out of money. Yeah, this one's free. <laughs> After playing Radio City, Jack got an invitation to play the largest theater organ in the world. It's at a department store in Philadelphia and it has almost 30,000 pipes. Needless to say, Jack plans to accept this invitation. It's a classic. There's a Steve Hartman classic. What a great story. What's next week? Okay, next week. We're going to visit an outdoor church 